one of them owns the house up there, and the other one lives in the house. Oh, they're house close. My kids just come into the house and live with them. <coughs> yeah. See that guy? Oh, oh, wait a minute. You didn't know you had to give a tour someday, huh? Does anybody ever bother you about it? Or? No, we give a fair amount of tours in here. Huh? We give a fair amount of tours in here. You should here. charge, huh? No, we don't charge. So this is where the Ripley woman built onto this? Yeah. She lived here and she wrote the sequel to Gone with the Wind while she was here. They were the ones that built the house over there. They built that to live in when they redid this whole place. Man, oh, okay. They tripled the size of this house. So let me show you the original part. Okay. Which is what you're probably more interested in. This room in here was a storage room up until about 20 years ago. 30 years ago, I guess now. 20 years ago. But you can see this was the outside of the building. And this is the outside wall over here, but they put drywall on it, took the stuff out. So there used to be a gap between the two. I don't okay. know whether this building was always here or it was further. It would make more sense if it had been further away. Uh -huh. If that it was a kitchen, for example. Um, in here is, this, this is a basic two over two uh, farmhouse back in the day. And all of this is the original wood. Wow. The floor. Back when people were craftsmen. Yeah, the floor in here is new. Or, um, you can see the doorways, you have to be careful going through those just like I do, or your head hurts. Yeah, yeah. But, um, that's the original stairwell going upstairs. Um, these are the original. Look how much, do you notice how much shorter the people must have been back then? Oh yeah, look, because at, look at the height of the steps too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I can see what you mean. They were all five foot four back then. Yeah, my kids are six four, six seven. Oh, so they hit their heads. They hit the floor a lot. These were the original windows. I already lost one. And the only way to put these things up in the air is like this. And oh. you put them here to keep them from coming down. Yeah, a lock. And some of the glass panes are original. You can sort of look through them and see which ones are old and which ones aren't. A lot of them have been replaced. Well, this has been what, 1735? 1737. Yeah. Okay. And that's the way you lock the window. And when we bought the place, nobody had ever had any windows in here except for these. And you could stick your hand in front of them to tell exactly what temperature was outside. Oh, it's just a blue in, huh? I mean, the first month we had it was the highest electric bill we had in here so before. At least eight years. So they probably cooked on that fireplace, didn't they? Or um, in the kitchen? I think this one was used more for warmth. Uh, you know, you have four fireplaces in here. One in here and one in there. That one, I think, originally was a, was a kitchen because you can see the carpet was cut out around the base of it. And, um... Yeah, look at the size of it. Look at the size of that door. I, I gotta get that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I don't know if that's an original... We don't know How about stand beside that one so I get a comparison? Because you're what, six, six foot? Six two, yeah. Look at that. Oh my God, it's a head knocker. <laughs> yeah. I stand up straight. I, I will hit it. Fortunately, I normally don't stand up straight. But, um, originally, this place was a post office as well as a tavern. And uh, we think that this was used in the post office, but we don't know. We found it in one of the outbuildings because it's got a bunch of cubby holes in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't, I'm not exactly sure how long it was a, a post office, but well, it was the original. It was, it was oldest, a post office. I I've, I've have done the history. It was a right. post office after he died, and they sold the place to a wood. But that guy was still in the family. He was like a fifth cousin. Yeah. The wood guy, and then when they when she sold it, Basically, when that Ripley woman bought it, the kid that owned he was a distant way back right. relative. I think he died. Yeah, they had. I think the people. What we heard, whether it's, you probably know better than I do, we heard that basically it was in some form of the family for hundreds of years, mm -hmm. and basically until. I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether the person that sold it to uh, Ripley 
was one of the... It was. Okay. I, I traced him. Well, he committed suicide right after he sold it. Oh, he did? Yeah. And, um, yeah, it wasn't very old. No, he was, and his his wife came out here and, and told us a whole lot of stuff that we couldn't find anywhere else. So, But just like they used to be, when it was a tavern, it was down in the basement. Oh, was it? And the basement had a huge fireplace, which was like four and a half, five feet tall. You know, you've been up in New England and seen uh, huge fireplaces they have up there. They have one like that, and unfortunately, Ripley ripped it out <laughs> and put basically a clean out for all the chimneys above it. Oh, jeez. Which really pissed me Well, she was married to some congressman or senator. No, or he was a... Uh, Governor. Her husband was a uh, professor at UVA. Oh, that's right. Okay. And, uh, they got a divorce. And he died oh. with, without any money whatsoever. He was basically a pauper when he died. Oh. I have no idea. I've got all the financial records down in the basement. I haven't really felt like going through it. Disinterested. Them. Somehow they went from being very, very, very wealthy to very, very, very broke. <laughs> Real quick. So I don't know if somebody scammed them or Maybe uh, that book didn't work out for her. Well, they made uh, a movie out of it. She made millions of dollars off of that book. And, and she wrote quite a few other uh, New York Times bestsellers after that. But unfortunately, they didn't make enough to... You got any more light? You got a little more light? Huh? Oh, that's okay. I've got a whole lot in here. My wife's room. Yeah, I got it. You can see the uh, stairwell over there going up from this side. Mm -hmm. so, like so, how many rooms are upstairs? Like, uh, well, they used to have two, and now there's a bedroom here, a bedroom down there, a small office which could be like a nursery and then a bathroom. And uh, see how this is cut out right here? This is the original floor, they think except for over there where you can see the newer part. But see how this is cut out out mm -hmm. here? I imagine that was it's like a or stone or whatever. Planking. Yeah. So it probably, this was probably the, the uh, kitchen early on. And uh, then the porches are, they had porches on it all the time, but these porches are quite a bit bigger than the ones were on it before. And when they first had uh, indoor plumbing here, mm -hmm. The indoor plumbing was out there. <laughs> it was on the porch. And so you had to go outside on the porch to go to the bathroom. You know, they're enclosed bathrooms. Yeah, right? but still. They all, and they also had showers out there. So that's the way you got to the showers and the bathrooms. And they had, I think the kitchen kept moving. I think at one, I'm guessing at one point it was where the dining room is. Uh -huh. I don't know if we walked through there coming in or not. But. And then there was another one, when they redid this whole house, there was a separate building down there. Past no, is that, 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 is that of, added on? Yeah, none of the, yeah, all of that's added on, everything above it's added on. So it's like each generation or whatever added more and more stuff onto it. Well, no, Ripley was the one that added all oh, the stuff on Oh, okay. It. Everything from here down was added on. Okay. And... Uh, the, so uh, it's really a very small area, and then yeah, she just kept, she just kept spreading. Yeah, it wasn't, it was probably you know it was like I say it was a two over two, you know farmhouse traditional farmhouse from back then, and it was all wood. It's a miracle this place is still standing. Yeah, and, and uh, do you ever get the foundation checked? The foundation's been totally redone. All the all the uh, wood in the bottom has all been totally redone. The thing bothers me is the roof. Oh. You can go upstairs in the roof of the rafters and stick your finger. Oh, geez, that's not roof. good. Just tell, tell the guy you sell it to. Is it, was this... <laughs> probably never going to sell it. Is this built on to? Or? No, this is the room that I was telling you. It used to be a separate house. Or building. And I think, I think at one point this was the, was the uh, kitchen. And uh, then it became a storage shed for the people that sold it directly. And then this, everything down there is all new. And then here, you can tell this has been added onto by three feet at a time type of deal. Uh -huh. And uh, the uh, like, you can tell you can tell by the way the wood was cut. Like, 
over to here, over to about here, this used to be a wall. Over to there was was uh, was cut one way, and then from there, it went like here, something else, and then narrowed down. Well, that's a good looking family there. Yeah. Is that your tribe? Yeah. Good looking bunch. All those graves are knocked over, aren't they? Sorry? The grave stones, they're all... Well, oh. all there are, I'll, I'll take you up there and show it to you. You know, one of the women that are buried there, I looked it up, she's not there. She's yeah, somewhere that's else. Yeah, what said. I don't know whether I sent your wife that or maybe I did, I don't know. She's buried somewhere else, I can't remember. I, I yeah, guess. somewhere right around here. Well, my other side of the family <clears throat> lives up by Glas. They were from Glasgow. You know where that is? Yep. So they were the McClure's and these were the Allegri's. So that's, yep. I had to do all the research because my dad never did any of it. So I, I researched everything. Huh. I got my own website. Oh, yeah, you can come on there. I, yeah, it's a private thing. I, I just don't let anybody come out here. Chimney, you can tell where it was top part of it's new and the bottom three fourths of it or two thirds of it or whatever were all original. Now you say this hall was built on, but that's. Yeah, almost. Well, you see, that part over there was the main house. I mean, everything else has been added onto, like that smokehouse over there goes way back. We don't know how old, but it used to be over here. Uh -huh. And they moved it away from the house. There used to be a humongous tree right here. It's now gone, and they got this huge lightning rod, which saved us a few years ago. Oh, that's always good. Yeah, it went underneath the thing, went underneath the ground, underneath the driveway, and blew a pine tree that was taller than that tree over there into. A thousand. Wow. But the porch is different. It's similar, but it's definitely different than it was before. It's a lot bigger than what it was before. Well, let me get down here but, in front. Because at one point, see, this is the front of the house, I would assume. <clears throat> because there used to be a driveway that came up by the mailbox and came right down through here. And then went back down the road. That used to be the road to Richmond. Now, have you ever read the history of this? That when uh, Lafayette yeah, stopped Lafayette, here? Lafayette stayed here in 1787. No, not that one, where he fought here. Yeah, that, in 1787. 81. I, 81, maybe, okay. 81 or 81. You can go get me, I'm a big history fanatic. One of the two. I think you're right. He was right before Cornwallis. Yeah, Cornwallis was out to get him. He sent Tarleton after him. Yeah, they sent Tarleton. That some but, historians that are much have a much higher pay grade than I do are taking some issue with that. But yeah. what you know where uh, Canton, Ohio is? Mm -hmm. Canton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Canton. That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. So we got William McKinley. Right. That's our claim to fame and the Hall of Fame. Right. Sure. It's awful quiet out here. But people, well, sometimes. The people, some people that, see, there were where the troops were dug in over there. 